Hey, do you want to see something funny? Well, too bad. All I've got is this. I have something I want to talk about. Oh no, you're breaking up with me. I don't know how well I'm going to explain myself because my thoughts are very jumbled, but I'm going to do my best. When yeah, fuck writing a script. Fuck planning, fuck thinking. Just grab a camera and off you go. Retard. Way too often when I hear someone say something vaguely sexist that's meant to be funny, it's usually a joke. Well, uh, well, what would a sane person do? Um, they would realise it's a joke and not a personal attack and just carry on with their life, feeling richer for the knowledge that humour is subjective. And I point out that it's actually not very funny at all. Oh. Oh, well, that is disappointing. They come back with... Calm down, it's just a joke. I only said one thing, it's not that serious. Do they do that with their hands though? Do they turn black and white? No, no they do not, that was wrong. Just like you're wrong when you say that's not funny. The only type of person who says that is someone who has never intentionally made another human being laugh. Yeah, to you, to the person who told that joke, I'm gonna say it, usually they're boys. Wow. Shocking. You have just said one thing, which you meant to be funny, you didn't want to offend anyone. Well, I, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I, I kind of see being offensive as my job. Nay, my true calling. So, like, why am I getting so angry about it? I can understand where you're coming from. Okay. Sounds fake, but okay. But the thing is... Wee hey I would have bet my left ball on you saying that with confidence. When you say that joke about how girls who don't shave their legs are gross, for example... But that's not a joke, Ginge. No one likes a girl that looks like she's always wearing tights. And for all you Americans, no one likes a girl that looks like she's always wearing pantyhose. <laughs> To you, it's just one thing that you've said offhandedly, and it doesn't really matter, but- Hell no! I mean that! Shave your damn legs, Ginge! Fucking ginger leg hair! To me, it's one of thousands of shitty sexist things that I hear all the time. That's not actually sexist, though, is it? If I said all girls with hairy chests are gross, you'd agree with me. At least you should. And every time I hear something else, it just adds onto that pile of stupid sexist shit that I listen to all the time. Well, I guess really the best way to deal with that is stop listening to it all the fucking time. Much like collectibles in any video game, sure, some are presented to you, but most of the time you have to really look for them. But even just in that morning and going to work, I would have probably seen some kind of sexist thing on the internet. Then stop looking up sexist things, you fuck up. Either a comment on one of my videos calling me a stupid bitch, or something similar. Then stop being a stupid bitch or something similar. I would have walked past billboards presenting women's bodies as complete objects and ways to sell things. And they are paid handsomely for it. The women on billboards know what they're doing. These aren't candid shots of a teenager bending over at a house party. These women make careers out of modelling. How is that sexist and not empowering? I would have probably been catcalled at some point because that's a daily occurrence and it's really, really fun. With your hairy legs? Fuck off. I would have had some guy call me darling and tell me that I should move out of the way because he's carrying something heavy and he doesn't want me to get hurt. Why the fuck are you in his way when he's carrying something heavy, you dick? Do you actually expect him to stop and wait while you walk by, darling? And then I get to work and then I listen to this person say that women can't do things as well as men. You say that like it's not true though. For instance, men are much better at dying on the front line and losing their children in divorce court. And women cannot make decent paper aeroplanes. There are differences on both sides. As a joke. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, definitely a joke, yeah. I think it's important for boys to remember that there's a lot of subtle shit that goes on that they don't notice because it doesn't target them. Or we don't spend every waking moment looking for them. Like you said yourself, subtle shit. But girls do it every single day. Doesn't that constitute a, a kind of hobby then? You spot subtle sexism as a hobby. I mean, you're good at it. So yeah, when you say something that's sexist, I'm gonna get mad because it's one of the billion things that I've heard said about my gender, which is just ignorant and stupid. Yeah, you forgot funny. Funny should definitely be in there. So, 
it's just like the extra little push that I need to get really angry. Oh no, now I'm gonna have to buy you flowers. I think the point of what I'm trying to say is if you're a guy and a girl gets really angry at you for something that you thought was harmless and you think she's completely overreacting, then she is probably your wife or girlfriend. Please just keep in mind that there is a lot of other shit that we have to listen to and put up with. You don't have to listen to it, Ginge, but it would help if you put up with it. You know, there are women being sold as sex slaves around the world, but you can't walk past a fucking billboard without shitting yourself with rage. A bit of perspective will go a long way, dickhead. That you probably aren't aware of because it doesn't target your gender, it targets ours. If you are part of this global sisterhood that feels each other's pain, I will personally wave you off as you fly over to the Middle East to start a feminist movement. You'll find some proper targeting of your gender there, Ginge, not to mention the sunburn you'll get. Seriously, Ginge, with your complexion, 10 minutes you'll be the colour of a used tampon. And this is why I kind of understand when guys say, why do we need feminism? Sexism doesn't exist anymore. Well, I wouldn't say sexism is gone. I mean, it's never going to be completely gone because, let's face it, you won't let it. I mean, what are you going to do with your life then? Be happy? Fuck off. Yeah, because sexism works in your favour. And what about sexism towards males? Or is that what you ever so loosely touched on by the disclaimer, for the most part, that you couldn't even be bothered to actually say? Fuck, you're annoying. Because sexism says that you're really strong and can do anything, but sexism says that we're really weak and need support and need protecting. Ginge, you get fuck tons of support and are very often protected by total strangers, none of which you actually complain about when it comes down to it. So that being the case, maybe you could show your gratitude by letting the odd rapist off every now and again. So, of course, to you it doesn't seem like anything's wrong, because you're the one getting the promotion, so like, why would you want to change anything? Oh, Ginge didn't get her promotion, I get it now, it's all making sense. Look, maybe you didn't get your promotion, not because you're a woman, but because you spend all of your time in the office pointing out things that are sexist instead of doing your fucking job. It seems fitting that as soon as I come back onto YouTube after being away for about two weeks, I'm just immediately stirring up more trouble for myself. Oh, bitch, you do not know the half of it. <laughs> Fuck, I'd punch you in the soul if you had one, you ginger cunt. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and remember, exists is an anagram for sexist.